Okay, y'all, here we go again. It's another great day that the Lord has made. And we're going to get back to work. Been on the road for a couple of days for work, for the J-O-B. So now it's the weekend. Everybody's been working for it. Now we're going to get back to work here in the shop and the apartment. And not sure what I'm going to do right now. We're trying to get ready for spray foam insulation. Nana and I went around last night and kind of made a list of things that absolutely have to be done before the insulation so i'm going to be bouncing around all over the place trying to get stuff done so y'all keep watching and let's get to work well y'all i think we're going to start with the sheetrock nana suggested we start with the sheetrock because you can see it's kind of taking up space in here so i got these 12 foot sheets they're actually going to go in the closets let me show you guys i think we talked about this before so the 12 foot sheets this is actually about nine feet so we're going to cut some of it off but we're going to do this closet and this is not really a closet right this is going to be a built-in dresser eventually but we're going to sheetrock all of this i think and get those sheets of sheetrock out of the way and then we'll move on from there not sure where we'll go after that but we'll see you guys keep watching let's get to work started on a sheetrock as you saw and then I realized I still got to drill three holes in that wall right there that go from the water room to the outside over there so it'll be a lot easier to drill those holes without sheetrock on them so we're gonna go ahead and move this stuff out of the way and then drill our holes and then resume sheetrocking all right I'll keep watching we're getting back to work Break time. It's getting smoking hot up in here. Got the, the PVC run, and that's for the cable internet wires. And then I got one more run to make in there for the water. We're gonna run filtered water out. That side over there for the RV connections. We'll have RV connections over there. So later on, we'll move the camper over there and all that stuff. Man is cleaning up in here, trying to make room for me. So you guys keep watching. We're gonna take a break. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, here we go. Break time's over. Let's get this PEX line run. And then I think we're going to call it a day because I got to go get a haircut. Got to go get this uh, shaggy mop cleaned up. All right, y'all keep watching. Well, good morning, y'all. Here we go again. It's another great day that the Lord has made. And we're going to get back on running this PEX plumbing out the wall over here. I didn't get it finished yesterday like I thought because I, had, I did not have the correct drill size so it's three quarter inch pegs and it's going to be going through these isolator cushions to help hold it and for those i needed an inch and three eighths drill bit which i did not have so went and bought one now we're back today we're gonna get that finished and then we're gonna do some more sheetrock i do believe y'all keep watching let's get back to work Okay, y'all check it out we got the pex line run so that water line will go outside and be where we set up the rv camper once we get everything done and then it'll also go underground to the shed in the back of the house you may have seen in previous videos when i hooked up the condenser units for the air conditioning systems that shed is eventually we're going to have water and electrical out there and maybe turn it into a tiny guest house eh, we'll see but we're going to have the availability and ability to do that so we're kind of thinking about having that possibility to expand you can see nana's measuring up where things are so 
So she's putting these measurements on the wall and marking this stuff. And that way we're gonna take a picture. We'll take pictures of all the walls. Eventually all of them be measured out and laid out so that in the future we'll have a reference when this is all covered up with sheetrock or on this outside plywood, whatever the case is. We'll be able to look at that picture and say, okay, well, we should have electrical right here. Don't screw it right here. Don't drill it right here. All right, we're fixing to get on some sheetrock. So you guys keep watching and we're gonna get back to work. Okay, y'all, well, before we get to the sheetrock, something else that needed to be done that we had to do is on this back side of this wall, this is the pocket hole for the door that's going to cover the laundry. We've got to glue this masonite because I'm not real confident in the fact that it's going to hold with the nails, so I want to glue it as well. Should have done it at the beginning, but I didn't because I thought the nails were going to be good. But it seems like it's kind of warping in different spots, so we're going to put some glue on it. I tried to use some super glue, some CA glue down at the bottom, but that didn't work out too well. So now I'm going to try to use some Gorilla Clear, and I think it's a polyurethane glue. We'll see how well, how well it works out. I don't know. We're going to get back to work though. Y'all keep watching. Okay y'all, well, we're going to see if this is going to work. I don't know, I'm scared. We got that spacer in there, we just hammered it in there. Super tight, so that it's kind of clamping force. It's supposed to clamp for two hours. And we'll take it out and see what happens. Hopefully it's going to work. We'll see. But we're going to get to sheetrock right now. Y'all keep watching. Let's get back to work. Okay y'all, there you go, that's it for today. That's all we're getting done. We got this closet sheetrock hung, obviously not taped to mudding, but we got it hung and then we got the back portion of this done. And then as you saw, we got the water line done and the conduit for the cable and ethernet. So I think we're moving along, not as fast as we want to, but it is what it is. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you later. Hey y'all. Well, good afternoon. It's another great day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You should be too. Check it out. We're going to get back on some sheetrock and I'm going to work on sheetrock inside my little water distribution room. And then we bought the old froth pack, spray foam pack, and I'm going to do that wall in there. Probably not going to get to that today. We'll see where we get to. But we're going to start out with some sheetrock. So you guys keep watching. Let's get to work. All right, y'all. Well, we got the sheetrock in. You saw that. Now we're going to do some insulating in here. I put a little caulking to kind of seal around the outlet boxes in there. We got this Thermofiber SoundGuard Plus from Owens Corning. And that's what we're fixing to put in the walls right now. Just in these closet walls. Obviously we're not going to do everything because the outside walls are going to be spray foam. And we're just kind of doing some odds and end places. Y'all keep watching. Let's get back to work. Okay y'all, there you go. That's it for today. We got this closet completely sheetrocked. We got this closet completely sheetrocked. Well, I say that, that's not exactly true. I got a little bit to do on this inside wall, but that's pretty much all we was planning on doing because I hadn't decided, because there's gonna be trim boards all over this and stuff. So I may not even put sheetrock on the backside. It might just be trim boards. Either way, we got that done. And then let's go in here and take a look, see what we got in here. 
And then we got this done in here. We got the top sheet rocked and this wall sheet rocked. I was gonna try to do the froth pack, the closed cell spray foam in here, but didn't get to that, but that's okay. Hopefully next weekend I'm gonna be doing that. We'll see, not 100% sure. But anyways, that's it for tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, well you give us a thumbs down too. We understand not every video is for every viewer, and we're okay with that. Either way though, leave us some comments. Good comments, bad comments, and different comments, but not foul comments. This is a family channel, we'll have to throw those things out. Check us out on our social media, at Living Cooper on Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as check out our blog over livingcooper.com. And lastly, and probably most importantly, is please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're notified next time we upload. And check out our other videos. We got a lot more property vlog videos. We got how-to videos. We got product review videos. Check those out, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.